Alrighty guys, seven fall designer fragrances that you absolutely cannot go wrong with. These are gonna work for you consistently every single time when you decide to pick these up and spray these on when the temperature starts to dip into the uh, 60s, 50s, 40s, somewhere around in there. When you start to get a little bit of bite in the air and the sun is setting down, these are gonna work consistently. All these have a, a warmer, spicier approach to them and they also don't go too awfully sweet. So it kind of sets them in that middle ground to where they just smell great for fall. I will link these all down below so you can shop for these easily and find what you're looking for at the best price. We're gonna start off with Wanted by Night by Azaro. Cinnamon, fruity notes, and tobacco in here. Uh, fall or winter, but really, I just kind of wanted to throw it in the fall video because it does have some of that fruity freshness, uh, but then with a spicy sweetness. So nice hybrid. So it works well for days where maybe you wake up in the morning, it's 45 degrees, very chilly, and then by the end of the day you're getting off work and you're heading home and it's 65 and the sun is out, right? Things are warming up. There's some, some uh, forgiveness with this scent and it's still gonna smell just fine at the end of the day when the temperatures have warmed up a little bit. Most winter fragrances, you're not gonna get that type of leniency. So all around, it's a very versatile scent. Uh, when it's in stock, it's very affordable. Lately, it's been a little bit tough to get, but you can still get it. Uh, regardless of that, it's a fantastic fall scent that has never let me down. Big fan of this one right here too, The One Royal Night by Dolce & Gabbana, one of their exclusive editions. This one is uh, the one DNA minus the tobacco, focus on the sandalwood here is basically how this one is. So it's creamier, it's a bit more smooth, and it also is significantly better performing than the EDT and the EDP. So one thing you can do is layer them. You know, you get the tobacco from the EDT or EDP, and you get the stronger, longer lasting base of this one, or you could wear it standalone. I do uh, both of those scenarios, just depends. But what I like about this one, it's a bit more of a daily driver to me compared to the original two. Uh, those I tend to save more for special uh, occasions and evenings and dates and stuff like that. And this one I'll just kind of wear during the day in the fall time. It just actually just seems to be a little bit more casual, believe it or not, and just easier to pull off all around. Keep it moving here with Mercedes Benz Le Parfum. This one has oud, pink pepper, and amber. There's some uh, violet leaf in here as well kind of an ozonic freshness, and then a uh, hint of oud. It's a very, very designer level, uh, tamed back oud, nothing to be afraid of here. Some pink pepper with a little spicy kick up top, and then some sweetness like a, a tonka bean uh, style going on here uh, in the dry down. It smells fantastic. It's a really, really well done scent that even though it's kind of going in the direction of being a bit more different and unique, it doesn't go too far. So it's right there on the line. You know, they, they could have taken it over the line and it would have been challenging. They could have taken it on the other direction. It would have been another super generic release, right? It kind of is, is walking the tightrope here. And they did a good job of, of kind of bringing this one together and, and giving you something that's at least a little bit different. So if you kind of want a, a change of pace for your fall scent that day, you could go for something like this. It's also very affordable on discounters. Keeping it moving here, a Zaro Visit. Poor Ohm. This is a $20 scent all day long for 100 mil, and it is a great, great pickup at that price. I would pay $35, $40 for this one. No problem at all. It's got cedar wood, pink pepper, kind of an incense smokiness. This is a dry, woody, strong, masculine, and smoky men's fragrance. I've talked about this one many times on uh, the channel here and lists and stuff, but this kind of is misleading because you see the bottle and more specifically the coloration of the scent uh, liquid itself, which is kind of a light blue. And then you may think to yourself, oh, it's gonna be a freshie. This is the opposite of a freshie. So don't let the uh, look, uh, the cosmetics of this uh, kind of uh, influence your, your perception of the scent because if you were to smell this blindfolded and then think of what type of bottle it would be, most of us would probably think like a brown bottle or a black bottle or something that isn't like sky blue. So it's kind of funny how that works. Regardless of that, if you're on a budget and you want something very masculine and strong and great performing, uh, check this one out. Most guys out there are not gonna be wearing this one and it consistently does a great job of, of getting you feedback and just smelling good when it's a little bit cold outside. Another one that people don't talk about a whole lot, but I do think is pretty solid, it is Dunhill Icon. This is Elite. It's got sandalwood, cardamom, and ebony wood. Very woody scent, spicy as well, kind of the trend. 
Um, the sandalwood is heavy. It's a creamy, rich, silky sandalwood in here. That's kind of what this one is all about. And the other notes kind of support it. So be aware that you gotta be into woody fragrances and more specifically, again, sandalwood scents to like this one. If you're not, then this is not gonna be for you. Uh, but it's significantly uh, different compared to uh, Dunhill Icon, the original, you know, the silver bottle. That smells like grape soda. This does not smell like grape soda. So big differences between the two. Um, this one is really its own scent. And not only is it different than everything else in the line, but it's different than other fragrances in general on the market, which I think is pretty cool. So it kind of stands out. It does its own thing. It's just kind of chilling over there in the corner being Dunhill Icon Elite. Some people smell it and, and give it a chance and like it. A lot of people I feel like probably just brush over this one, but I encourage you to check it out. It's a nice little pickup for fall. Running down to the end, another nice hidden gem that I think is great that also doesn't get a whole lot of love because it's from a brand that isn't super widely respected in the community. It's Calvin Klein Euphoria Intense. So this has oud, amber, ginger, and pepper in here. So another oud fragrance from a, a cheaper brand and it's designer oud. I mean, it does not get easier than this. If you are afraid of oud, this is where you need to start. It's not going to give you the representation of a, an all-natural oud or a super strong oud, but I would say when you're starting out, that's not what you want. It gives you the idea of the texture and just how it comes across in small doses, so that way you can ease into it. Same with Mercedes-Benz Le Parfum. Great places to start if you're on a budget, one, and two, you just don't want to dive into some niche fragrance that you know you're probably going to hate because the oud is so strong and nasty smelling. So because it has that oud in here, you're already gonna be smelling different, uh, at least in, in most places, right, in the US anyway, um, which is kind of cool because a lot of guys over here that aren't into the community would smell this and still probably be put off by it just because it's not a freshy, it's not a blue fragrance. So you kind of have a, a one up on there to be able to wear something like this and stand out and smell great in the fall time. And we're gonna end this one with Philip Pline No Limits. This one has dark chocolate and leather and uh, some black pepper, spicy accords, um, sweet tonka bean. This is delicious. It's a really nice gourmand. Sounds kind of weird, but it, it really is to me. It's got a delicious kind of delectable and addicting sexy smell about it. It's that dark chocolate, man. It smells fantastic. This is a unique designer scent all the way through. Yeah, it has similarities to something like Killian Dark Lord, but kind of stretched. Same with Gucci Guilty Absolute, also kind of a stretch. You know, this one has so much chocolate and sweetness going on that it really does balance it out and it makes it its own scent. But this was done by Alberto Marias, who did Gucci Guilty Absolute. So you can kind of see where this could have been a mod or a spinoff of that, just made more designer friendly. Because as we know, of course, the Gucci is a designer, but they're not afraid to do things that are weird. And we've seen that with their fragrances before. They end up discontinuing them years down the road and they're not fully appreciated until they're gone. So I think with Philip Pline, the brand's image here, they wanted something that guys were gonna typically like more. And that was gonna be more mass pleasing and thus they landed on this and I think it smells great. Bottle and presentation and branding and marketing aside, this fragrance is killer. Great quality, especially for the price you can get this one for at discounters. It's like $50 or so for 100 mil. Um, testers, a little bit less. So you can really score this one for um, you know, a competitive price and I highly recommend you do so if you want something ultra unique in the fall. All right, you guys, that's gonna do it for me. Seven fall fragrances that you absolutely cannot go wrong with. These will never let you down. As soon as that weather starts to turn into the, the cooler temperatures, these are ones that you can kind of look forward to wearing and you can kind of lean on because you know they're gonna work. You don't have to think about it too hard. You don't have to put a lot of effort into trying to decide what your rotation is gonna be. You got seven of them right here. You're good to go. You're gonna smell great. You're gonna get good performance and they're all definitely some winners here. So I will link these down below. That's gonna do it for me. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy, and we'll see you tomorrow with another one. Take care.